Hello again. So this is Dr. Rosales, uh, your business research instructor. Okay, so today I will be discussing to you about research method and research design. So focus muna tayo sa research design. And this research design is part of the research methodology or chapter 3. Sa APA format ng research, this is the chapter 2. Kasi may mga different uh, researches or thesis na tinatawag nila na may chapters 1 to 5 and may chapters 1 to 4. And chapters 1 to 4, ito is chapter 2. Yun yung APA format na tinatawag nila. And yung limang chapters is MLA. Okay? Okay? So, today I will be discussing the different uh, methods and different re, uh, research design, okay? So, first thing, I would like to uh, discuss the difference between a research design and a research method. Kasi may mga ibang research, uh, researches, ang ginagamit nilang term is research method to be used or research method use. Iba naman is, um, under niya, chapter 2 or chapter 3, research methodology. Tapos, under niya is research design, Ganon. So, magkakaiba sila. Okay. So, i-differentiate ko lang yung dalawa para hindi kayo malito. Okay? So, here. What is the difference between research design and research method? Ang word na research design is a plan. Plan to answer your research question. So, yun yung disenyo nyo. So, whether it is a qualitative or a quantitative or a mixed method. While, uh, Research method naman is a strategy used to implement that plan. So, ibig sabihin, for example, dun sa research design, ang napili mo is a quantitative. So, hahanap ka ng method or strategy under it. Kasi under uh, different research design, like sabi ko nga kanina, is a quantitative, a qualitative, and a mixed method. May mga different types yung mga yan. So, yun yung strategy na nagpo-fall under the research method. So, uh, kasi may mga iba-ibang thesis, iba-iba yan. So, pag sinabing research method, then ilagay mo dyan yung specific method na ginagamit mo or strategy in order for you to implement that plan. Okay? And yung plan na yun is nakadepende naman, hindi ka, uh, yung research design naman na gagamitin mo, nakadepende sa research questions mo. Doon sa statement of the problem. Kung ang statement of the problem mo is it describes a quantitative approach, then your research design is a quantitative but anong klaseng method yon or approaches. Okay? So, research design and methods are different but closely related because good research design, it ensures that the data you obtain will help you answer your research question more Effectively. So, the function of research design is to ensure that the evidences you obtained uh, enables you to effectively address the research problem uh, as ambiguously as possible. Okay? So, what research method should I use or should I choose? Okay? So, most frequently used methods are this, the observation, the survey, the focus groups, experiment. So, lahat yan halo-halo. Like, for example, ito, observation or participants or observation under qualitative yan. Survey is under quantitative. Okay? So, interview, focus groups, uh, nasa quantitative din siya. Ah, qualitative, sorry. Qualitative siya. Pwede rin siyang, in some way, in somehow, pwede siya under quantitative. Uh, experiment is under quantitative. Secondary data is qualitative. So, mixed method is either uh, a combination of the above. Basta combination ng quantitative and a qualitative approaches. Okay? So, those are, ito yung mga methods. So, ma-identify mo na that you will be using the quantitative research design using the survey method. Ganon. Ganon siya dun sa research design. Yun yung unang-unang tinatanong or unang-unang part under Chapter 2 or Chapter 3, which is the research method. So, it depends on your research goal, okay? It depends on what subject or who are your subject that you wanted to study. So, for example, you are interested in uh, studying people, uh, studying what makes uh, people happy or 
why some students are more conscious about recycling on campus. Okay, so to answer this, you need to take, uh, you have to make a decision on how you will collect the data. Kung sa tingin mo, gusto mo mag-interview, then, ang interview is part of qualitative. So, that is a qualitative. Pero kung gusto mo rin mag-interview, and at the same time, mag-float ka ng questionnaire, pero different uh, group of respondents yun. That is mixed method kasi pinagsama mo ang quantitative and a qualitative design. Having a survey method and an interview or a focus group method. Ganun yun. Okay? So, isa yun sa mga consider mo in choosing the research method and a research design. So, what other factors that you, con uh, you could consider when choosing one method over another? Um... In an observation or an interview method or so-called the qualitative approach, it helps you to have a richer information. Okay? So, but it takes time. But in using the survey method, it helps you to collect more data quickly. But it lacks some details. Kasi kung ano lang yung nilagay mo dun sa survey, yun lang yung sasagutin nila. Okay? So, you will need to consider the time you have to, you have for the research. Kung medyo mahaba-haba naman yung binigay nila sa inyong time, then, you can choose siguro yung qualitative or mixed method. Mas mag, sa ngayon kasi parang, uh, ang gandang i, i-adapt ang mixed method. Kasi, uh, Ang kagandahan sa kanya is may mga different kinds of mixed method like um, yung ang tawag dito, yung tinatawag nilang convergence parallel method or con, uh, concurrent parallel method. So, yung mga ganun na type of uh, method under mixed method uh, research design is uh, maganda kung may mahaba kayong time. Why? Kasi you are bridging the gap between the uh, gathered res responses from your respondents. Kasi dun sa survey, it, it, it gives you a little time. Diba? It gives you a little time to gather the responses. Uh, bilis mong mag-gather yung responses. Kasi pwede mong i-float ngayon, makukuha mo mamaya. Ganun yon. Pero kung ano lang yung information na nandun sa questionnaire mo, and yun lang yung sasagutan nila. Kasi pwede it is a checklist, it check lang nila. Doon naman sa focus group, uh, it take you a lot of time kasi iisa-isahin mo sila. Pwedeng magsasalita ka in front of them, focus group, getting them uh, gathered together in one specific date na gusto nila or available sila. And minsan, uh, hindi pa sabay-sabay yung time na availability nila. Kailangan iset mo yung time kung kailan talaga available kayo lahat or available din sila lahat. Then after that, after you discuss about the data or about the uh, uh, purpose, why did you gather them, uh, tapos isa-isahin mo silang i-interview. So, kung ano yung in-interview mo kay, kay focus group, plus uh, tapos yung sinurvey mo, pareho lang yung tanong dun sa dalawa. The purpose lang kasi of conducting the two me method or approaches is para makuha mo yung talagang in-depth uh, consideration of the information na nagather mo. Okay? So, parang uh, para din mabalansi mo yung strength and weaknesses associated with the methods na dalawa. Kasi pwedeng ito sa quantitative, majority of them, sinagutan nila dun sa questionnaire, ito yung problem. Diba? For example, ano yung example natin kanina na what makes people happy? Halimbawa, majority of the survey mo, ang sinagot nila, what makes them happy is magkaroon sila ng fin uh, financially stable life. Tapos, nung tinanong mo din dun sa mga grupo na hindi mo ginamita ng survey questionnaire, just an interview about, about kung ano yung nandun din, hindi nalalayo. Tapos, ang sagot nila verbally, ang sagot nila is, to have uh, financially stable. So, nakita mo yung yung nakita mo yung pagkakapareho ng responses nila. So, hindi mo siya magagawa in just a couple of weeks or months. Talagang uh, ano yan, uh, pinag pinaglalaan mo ng time. Yun yung mixed method na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, 
kung i-adapt mo is the mix method, it, uh, uh, dapat lang mayroon kang uh, you have to consider the time for your research and the balance between the strength and the weaknesses associated with the methods you're going to use. Okay? So, yun yung factors that you consider in choosing methods. Kasi you already uh, 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 know about the design na gusto mong gawin. Pwedeng gusto mo nga uh, pareho eh. Magsusurvey ako tapos mag-interview ako. Mixed method na yun. Kasi pinagsama mo ang qualitative and quantitative. Okay? Okay? So, malino tayo dun, ha? Now, uh, I want to discuss to you isa-isa yung tatlong research design na yun. Okay? So, we have three kinds of research design. As I said a while ago na meron tayong quantitative, meron tayong qualitative, and meron tayong tinatawag na mixed method. So, first, dun tayo sa types of a quantitative research. 